All right, so this great book I want to tell you about is, uh, it's really, it's a fantastic book. I loved it. And if you go to Audible, uh, Audible's great. You can listen, to, run by Amazon, and you can listen to, I'm just going to sign in. Sign me in, man. And I saw a book there for uh, Britney Spears. And, um, gosh, I got to enter a one-time uh, OTP. I'm going to stop this video. Hold on. Hey, welcome back. All right, so, boy, 99 cents for three months. That makes me want to sign up, but I haven't read it and listened to all the books I've got. So I saw a book in there for Britney Spears. Britney Spears uh, had a boyfriend from Fresno for a little bit. Interesting. He went to Bullard High. So here, here is, like, uh, Thinking in Bets. And uh, Thinking in Bets, this is a great book. And it's about a woman who's a professional gambler, making smarter decisions when you don't have all the facts. And it's Annie Duke. And it's a really, really good book. So I really recommend you come here and just listen to it. And I like listening to the book better than, um, you know, uh, reading it because it's narrated by Annie. So you really get this feel. And she went to college. And then after getting her degree, um, just hung out like in Montana in a card room for like six months and learned to play poker and use statistics to do well in poker. And then she became a professional gambler. And uh, then she wrote this book and it's great. It's a really good book. Highly recommend it. It's totally fun. Lots of really fun, interesting stories about gamblers and the crazy things they do. Like they bet on all kinds of wild stuff and like who could eat how many burgers at uh, White Palace, I think it's called. And uh, there's this guy, Tiny, who was huge and uh and they were all driving to white palace i think white palace is the name of it white knight white palace white palace hamburgers is that it and what am i looking for white palace may refer to diner the white palace that serves uh in the movie no what white castle that's what i want white castle white castle hamburgers and so here's white castle hamburgers and so they were going to white castle to eat burgers and uh and there's a bunch of them riding in a car including this guy tiny who was very big and um and they all started talking about how many burgers could white tiny eat and he said i could eat a hundred and none of them believed it and so they all bet against him but annie bet that he could do it and so they just like to bet right they think about what is the probability of something happening and uh they use <laughs> you know they use all these tools here where are they? I just want to show you the list instead of trying to think of them myself. They use empirical, they use the classical, right? And uh, relative frequency empirical, and they use subjective, right? And they draw upon everything to kind of figure it out. And so she, you know, she thought just subjectively, I think Tiny can do it. He seems confident. She made a subjective decision that the odds were in her favor to bet with him. So she bet with him. And then when they got to, to White Castle, a uh, tiny ordered a hundred hamburgers and a couple of sides of fries and two sh a couple of shakes and she knew she had won <laughs> when he ordered he ordered all that she's like he's gonna eat all this and more <laughs> and she did win another bet they made was like they had a guy who they're talking about this guy is like addicted to the nightlife of Vegas and just you know he could he would he would never be able to survive not you know in some small town with nothing to do. And, uh, and so they bet that for 30 days, like they bet like $100,000 that for 30 days, um, he had to go live in a small town with nothing to do and, uh, and that he'd make it and he didn't, he didn't. <laughs> so that's the kind of stuff that they would do in, in addition to being professional gamblers. Highly recommend that book. And, you know, maybe it'll spark and stoke your interest in statistics because it's something you can learn this stuff and start to be like, hmm, let's calculate that. Let's see, what are my odds? And then you could have ChatGPT start to teach you how to use statistics to play poker. And, uh, you know, then you could go on the poker circuit and you could tell a story about how you had a teacher at community college and, and um, you know, taught you how to use ChatGPT to learn how to play poker. <laughs> and it's all the rest is history. All right, so that's, uh, why not, right? Live a wild life. Um, so that's, uh, what are we talking about? We're talking about binomial distributions and I wanted a couple of, a uh, couple of, and we learned about binomial distributions and we also learned about functions. And so understanding discrete probability distributions 
right? So we learned about discrete probability distributions and how they have functions. And then I asked it about this one here and we learned about that the binomial distribution. So I'm gonna say here, can you please give me some quiz questions and maybe also, maybe also a formula, no, maybe also a problem using about, about to help me learn about ba -doom, boom boom. And uh, I'm just gonna leave this uh, video, just the book recommendation, and we'll answer this video. We'll see the answer to this question in the next video. See you in the next video.